So the next question is actually a transition into the next topic. The next topic is uh, actually from Amy Gilroy at AmyGills89 on Twitter. She asks, uh, what in your opinion was the most intriguing announcement at San Diego Comic-Con for uh, Sean and yourself? Mm -hmm. Intriguing or which one did I like the most? Um, Let's say both. Like a, I feel like the King Kong is, uh, trailer was very intriguing. See, I, I didn't see the King Kong Ooh, one. Man, that looks good. Oh, yeah? And I didn't... That was, like, the one that I didn't care about at all. I love monster movies. Love mm. them. Mm. I grew up on old-school Godzilla. So, like, um, I, I really do enjoy those movies, but I hated Peter Jackson's cover, King Kong. I thought the movie was terrible. The one with Jack Black? Yeah. Oh, my God. And, what was uh, he doing in that movie? And I also played a game on Xbox 360. There was a game? Yeah, I got... What a, is the I, game? It's... Uh, I got a thousand achievement points in it. That's all I remember. It was, like, a pretty easy <laughs> plat. Um... So I remember, and I was like, uh, but then I saw it. I was like, wow, this looks really interesting. This looks really interesting. And it was, it was just very cool. Who's in it? Um, Samuel L. Jackson, Tom Hiddleston. Okay. Uh, I forgot the girl that's in it, but a famous actress. And um, it looks awesome. It really does. It, it is, King Kong has never been as big as he is in the movie. Like, he's enormous. Oh, yeah? And it's, it doesn't look like they're going. I remember him being pretty big in the. He's bigger. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's uh because so this is setting up the next movie, which is Godzilla versus yeah. King Kong. So this is the King Kong movie. So he's not going to go to New York and die in this one, which is interesting. Uh, yes. So now they're like in his <clears throat> domain. Oh my God, is Jack Black in this one? No, it's the guy from that. Roseanne. Oh my God. Um, I can't remember his name. He was recently in um, Monument Men and uh, Cloverfield. Yeah, Cloverfield. Yeah, uh, 10 that, Cloverfield Lane. Yeah, that guy. And uh, he has a great line in the trailer where he goes, I've been working for 30 years to uncover the truth. Uh, something he's like, monsters are real. And I'm like, ooh, that's cool. That's All cool. Right. <laughs> I respect that. Okay. So uh, that was pretty intriguing. I also we got to see a little bit of... I did not expect to see a trailer for Justice League already. Oh, yeah. That a was full trailer. Very Not surprising. a teaser. Full trailer for yeah. this Justice League. Yeah. Very I honestly sure. thought we were going to get that image, and I thought that was going to be it. Me too. And I thought it was going to be a fake-ass image. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they made up in Photoshop, but they're not even all standing together. But that was really good. Um, is it going to be a good movie? I don't know. Uh, tone is lighter than it is Man of Steel, but then again, so is a fucking funeral. And... Uh, Oh, yeah, it, it was lighter. BVS. It was lighter. It seems a little to take itself a little less seriously, like Batman v Superman, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, because definitely that scene with Aquaman, Bru no Bruce oh. Wayne and Barry, uh, Allen. Barry Allen. Yeah, that was cool. So good. I mean, it's just like how sort of quirky Barry Allen is acting in that. And it's like it's not really a Barry Allen I'm used to, but I sort of like that idea. I like it too. Um, and so just like the. The slow reveal and where Bruce throws the batarang and he like looks at it really slowly and realizes who he's talking to and it, it, that that was just really really cool. So I think like that stood out to me more than like I can't even remember like the first scene Batman and Superman are in and Batman v Superman like together. It's the yeah. uh, Lex Luthor in the uh, well, no and, and oh uh, in, in, that's when they're talking. This. Yeah okay 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 um, yeah. And then the first time they see each other is when uh, Superman rips the doors off the Batmobile. And it says, like, you're done. Okay, that's not a cool scene to you. Get the fuck out of here. That scene's awesome, man. That scene doesn't make sense. Why does it make it sense? It really doesn't make sense. Why does it make like... sense? Exactly. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> Superman doesn't like Batman for reasons. Well, why? Because he thinks that he's murdering people because uh, Lex Luthor paid off a goon in Arkham to kill somebody and brand them with the Bat, mo with the bat logo. You gotta watch the extended tr version. I don't. I really don't. Uh, so then Superman thinks that Batman is a vigilante murderer, and mm. Batman doesn't like Superman for very well defined reasons. And um, yeah, the the hate towards Superman, I understood. I, was, I thought it was perfect. Yeah. And then you know he hits the car, and Superman is <laughs> rips the doors off the Batmobile, and like one of the best fucking most. That's like the manliest shit ever. And then Batman just like stands up, and he's like, "You're done. The bat is dead. This is your final warning." Come on, that movie is I mean, definitively better than Dark Knight Rises. I mean, without a shadow no, of a doubt. Oh no, God, there's dude. no... That's Without a shadow of the doubt? Like, I understand, yes. I understand that Dark Knight 100%. Rises isn't good. It's a bad movie. But I love it. But I don't... 
I don't think it's like that much of like a huge argument between the two. Like, I it's gotta be or it needs to be a big argument. No, because I think they're both shitty for different reasons. I think that Batman v Superman is like a fun movie. And it's enjoyable. It's a comic book movie. And then Dark Knight Rises. I thought Rises, it was a comedy because I was laughing at how terrible it was the entire time. Coming from someone who likes The Dark Knight Rises, which is literally... I, that I would actually rather have a grown man <laughs> give me a prostate exam with no glove than watch that for two and a half hours. Not a quick in and out. Two like, hours and 45 minutes. Whatever it is. I would rather... <laughs> come on. And, and, and then for at the end, for at the very end, right before he's about to finish, him to look at me and be like, by the way, my name's Robin now. <laughs> That's what I would rather than watch that terrible movie. That was a, that was a terrible part. That was a terrible movie. Yeah. Why would they send all the Gotham City police in that sewer at the exact same time? Because they needed to get Bane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that movie's bad. So good. 10 out of 10. Um, but yeah, I really liked the Justice League trailer, though. Like, I, I cool. thought it was really good. And, like, the sort of different dynamics of just, like... The different, I felt like the different personalities were actually like coming out to me. I, I felt like everybody was sort of monotone in Batman v Superman for the most part. There were a little like insistence here, here and there where it's like, oh, okay, that's that's a fun moment, whatever, for your character. But like overall, this is like everybody's broody and you know, we're forcing in Lois Lane for no reason. And it's like, because she was irrelevant in the movie. Wonder Woman for some reason is here. Wonder Woman like, was awesome, she was awesome. She wanted but she a picture. Felt for, but she felt forced in that. that the, her, she did. Yeah, so... Here's the thing. 100%, Justice League's going to be bad. Really? You think it's going to be bad? How, how come? I just... I have no faith. Because <laughs> it was like... I liked Batman v Superman. And when I walked out of the theater with the people I saw it with, and they were like, that movie was terrible, I was legitimately shocked. I was like, we got... We got two scenes in Batman v Superman that are definitively bad. They are bad scenes. I mean, I went to the midnight premiere, and it was full theater, full of nerds. No one clapped. Weird. Yeah. Because it's like, yes, there were two horrible scenes in that movie. But I don't think, like, you want to know the scenes? Yeah. When, when Batman gets risen up by the bats in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> I laughed. And there's VO for that for some reason. <laughs> um, and there's not VO used in any other portion of the movie ever. Uh, and the Martha scene. The Martha scene is the most cringe. Martha is the most cringeworthy scene, and it'll be parodied forever. And as it, like, I don't understand how that got through editing, because no one was like, "Hey guys, this is dumb. Go reshoot this." Um, <laughs> that scene is terrible. And I was like, I, I was like, Fred was like, I could feel you cringe when that scene came up, because I was like, "Ooh, yeah, man." I was, like, I was the same. I was like, that, oh. "That's." Stupid. That's yeah. really stupid, guys. This this is dumb. But uh, that's how I felt about the entire movie. But like, I still thought I had really funny moments. I didn't think I had great moments. I thought Batman was great. Mm -hmm. Bruce Wayne was great. I mean, Ben Affleck really stole the show. I think the only movies that are going to be good out of the, the, the DCU is the Batman solo films, which is probably going to be a trilogy. What do you think about Suicide Squad? Okay, Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad looks awesome. Yeah, did you, oh, yeah. There, apparently there's a new trailer, Sandy. I have not. I, did yeah, not I haven't watch seen. It. I definit. I went. I keep saying definitively. I don't know why. <laughs> I went out of my way to not watch it. Mm, yeah, because it's I've so seen, close. It's like in a week, yeah, a week almost. or something. We should, we should go see that. We should go see uh, that because we I can uh, do that now. I I have friends here finally. I had only took you eight years. It took me eight minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just feel like I don't want any, to see any more about that. But I think Wonder Woman, which we also saw a trailer for, will be good. I, I finally, I finally, because I did a, I did a write up for Comic Con, all the big news. If you want to check out, if you missed anything, you can go to uh, the BCG blog for that on uh, bzgamers.com. But also, I finally watched that trailer, and I really liked it. I thought I think it's going to be good. I think Gal Gadot and Chris Pine work well off of each I think, other. Yeah, I think the I chemistry really like that dynamic. Uh, it also looks beautifully shot yeah, too. Like I saw, I saw like weird shitty like twitter screenshots of this and i was like oh and then it, it was just the pictures not doing like the justice of like the the scene where she's walking into the like the, the ballroom and she brings out the sword like that is just the cinematography the in I the trailer remember. yeah and the oh way the tra God. trailer is edited and put together oh, is very good it, it, it is really really well i think the dc editing team and here's the thing and it's like people are like this is gonna be great and i'm gonna be like listen guys i did not think that for the batman v superman trailer Really? I thought they had two of the best trailers, like, ever. And then they had... If you would cut that second trailer right before Doomsday came out... Actually, if you it would was cut... Fine. It was fine. If you would cut everything 
then that movie that had Doomsday to do with Doomsday, <laughs> that movie would have been if way better. If you had better. cut anything that ruined, like, a big twist in the fucking movie. That's what DC's got to work on. DC's got to... Because I think they do great trailers. The Ballroom Blitz trailer and uh, and the Bohemian Rhapsody trailer for Suicide, Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, so good. Well edited, very well shot. I'm a little well. concerned about Suicide Squad just because it's just... We're coming off of Batman v Superman. And you, you have good to admit, movie. although you enjoy it and you think it's a good movie, the reception to it is very divisive 50 50 yeah very it's divisive. about 50 50 yeah um so i'm, I'm part of the other 50 and it, it's sort of coming off of that and it's like i'm excited but it's also like i'm concerned for like joker um uh, and Probably not 60 40 actually and not because um like a lot of people are like oh it's dumb that joker has ha- tattoos i don't think that's dumb i think that's very awesome. i think it's very realistic for a modern day joker mm-hmm. but it's like what the tattoos are that i think are like oh wow you got that at hot topic didn't you where it's just like the the damaged on his like fucking forehead and like the obvious like ha 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 like they're cool the, ones are cool. the hand one is awesome that's the new trailer i saw the screenshot for it and it, he goes like so like, oh, I haven't seen the new trailer from what i've read, read and this is just like speculation on the internet he has his teeth because Batman broke his jaw and mm. knocked out all his teeth. So he has fake Probably teeth after because he of that. Probably Jason Todd. Because that's been established That has been. Right? He's dead. Um, so on his hand, he has a mouthful of normal teeth mm. with a big smile laughing. Mm. I like that. So when he laughs, he covers his mouth. So I so like that kind of shit. That is what I saw. And and that the, looked awesome. The a subtle one that people were pointing out is that he has like a... Like a Robin yeah. tattoo on, yeah, it's a, on, on his bicep. Yeah, and the, that subtle stuff I like, but the fucking like damn it, it's just like, dude, you're not twelve getting fake tattoos. At yeah, but he might have gotten that tattoo when he was twelve. It's true. It's true. I, I we'll like, never like know. if you if what I'm reading is correct, and it's just Reddit stuff, but like if him getting his jaw broken and all his teeth getting knocked out is why where he has the jaw, like this, because I think the silver teeth look dumb. Yeah, but if uh, that the, like the sort of like yeah. grail sort of look he's yeah. got. No. But if that is the reason why, I'm like that's actually really cool. Yeah, I like it, really if cool. they justify that. Um, so, but yeah, I'm 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 hesitant, but I'm also excited because I like I, I what's his name that's playing the Joker? Um, Jared you know, Leto. Jared Leto. I like him. Uh, I like Margot Robbie. Um, yeah, I, Will I think... Smith is okay. He's Will Smith. He is Will Smith. <laughs> um, it sort of makes sense now after Independence Day 2 has come out why he didn't want to do that movie. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, no, he wanted to do that movie. They just they were shooting it at the same time that he was shooting Suicide Squad. Oh, okay. I didn't Because he was upset that. about the way they just killed his character. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I got to see what... Uh, what were you most excited? We talked a little bit about intriguing. You thought Injustice League was... Or Justice League, I'm thinking Injustice and Justice at the fucking same time. But... Um, the most exciting thing I saw there was uh, the Flash season three stuff. See, I didn't see the trailer at all. Oh, I watched it with your girlfriend actually. Oh yeah, when you were in the bathroom. Yeah, um, I'm so interested in that because I think that show is doing so well. Yes. and I also think but you, that did, they... you didn't think the season two finale was no I... as great. As well, the first I thought one. so. Here's the problem, and this is what always happens. People were like, "Dude, the season two finale for Flash is amazing," and I, so then that wasn't I go amazing. In, so then I go in thinking like, "I'm gonna watch the fucking." best episode of the flash i've ever seen yeah and it was like it was okay it was a normal episode of the flash yeah and um, i like the sort of homage to uh the dad wearing the flash suit again because yeah, if you because cool. yeah, yeah. he was it's the a meta flash. thing he was the original flash in the flash tv show in like the 80s 90s? 90s okay and uh yeah i thought that was cool but it was just like i don't necessarily i i i think flashpoint's going to be cool right but like to bring Flashpoint out in season three and not to like it was like you build up, you build up, you build up. The payoff is that he gets the girl, and then they erase it seconds after it happens. Yeah, it's like there is no like <sighs> moment. It's like, <laughs> there's no just like relaxation. It's just and like, I, you know I I I have all the faith in that, those guys. I think they, what they're gonna do is gonna be awesome, and I'm gonna love it. But <clears throat> I was like, man, you could have given me like one episode. And I still think he should chose Patty, because Patty was the bay. Why am I not remember? He's the other, it's the only other girl he's ever dated in that. The show. white girl, with yeah, the blonde. She, yeah, she shoots at the shark, the giant shark with her gun. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, um, 
Who's who's his actual love interest? Um, Iris. Iris. She's annoying. I yeah, like I don't her. like Iris at all. Yeah, she's. I like the actress. Like as a person, I follow her on she's Twitter. Cute. She seems very nice. Yeah. Um, I just don't like the way she's written. Yeah, her, the way she's written is very just fucking back and forth, back and. Like she's forth. already completely in love. Her then when her other boyfriend like literally killed himself. By the way, spoilers for season, season one, one and two of Flash. Yeah. <laughs> You're way too late at this point. You're fucking screaming at the. But uh, that's the thing I'm probably most excited for, mm -hmm. and like. I'm sure there's other things that I saw that, uh, like, obviously, I saw the Power Rangers stuff, and I think that looks terrible. The helmets and whatnot? Oh, yeah, I think so they bad. look really awkward, because it's almost like they're trying to pay too much respect to, like, the 90s stuff. Yeah. And it just looks really odd and stiff, and it doesn't look like it's going to work in sort of, like, a modern-day film. I think the, the villain looks cool, though. Um, Rita? Yeah, or she did, like, her... It looks like she was like an ex Power Ranger almost, and her suit's all broken. She looks all crazy and stuff. I think that looks cool, but the, the Power Rangers are just themselves. I think they look like a bunch of dorks. Yeah, I like I said. Oh, um, and Rick and Morty stuff. That they they released a thirty second Rick and Morty little episode. That is like it's just like one scene. It's terribly put together. It's mm. like, but it's like more Rick and Morty yeah it's like 30 I'm, more seconds of Rick and Morty I'm so and excited and that is like one of those it's shows supposed that to I come will... this year right no Season next three? year next July <sighs> we have to wait like another year uh, that is my favorite show on television probably it's so good Rick and Morty BoJack um, Horseman you can, you can watch Hulu you can watch on Hulu Rick and Morty Season 1 and 2 yeah yes that and BoJack Horseman are also I just I'm almost done you got with BoJack me, you got me into BoJack BoJack's great man yeah you gotta listen to it as well it's just like yeah. I, I, I weirdly like it I, was like, I know that's the thing it's like a weird like you don't you don't want to like it. Yeah, but, but like do. it it's grows like, on you. It's sort of like, you know, when you, you take out your first date and it's like, you don't want to like her. I don't really like that girl. She's sticking your, her tongue down your throat and it's just like, oh. I, I... You get the hormones going. It's a weird <laughs> metaphor. Uh, no, I remember putting out BoJack Horseman. That's Horse what the show like, is. It's a bunch of weird metaphors. I put on BoJack Horseman. I was like, this show's going to suck. And then I was like five episodes into it. And I was like, I don't want to turn it off. And then I kept watching it. And then I got to the end of season one. I was like, I like this show. So... <laughs> I think the cool thing for me um, was uh, Brie Larson getting um, confirmed as Captain Marvel for the Captain Marvel movie mm. down the line. Because uh, mm. I, I like Brie Larson. She's only been in a couple things that I've watched. Uh, I liked her in Room. Very different role. So um, a lot of the roles that she's played don't steer me as like why did they choose her for Captain Marvel they, like they probably had to read scenes and whatnot before choosing her yeah but my... it's like what what movie did she do that like put people put her on Marvel's radar that like has me a little interested but uh, she's also in Scott Pilgrim she was the drummer in Scott Pilgrim um real quick I'm changing my answer the most excited thing I saw about Sherlock I just remembered I watched the season 4 trailer for Sherlock oh and, shit I have yet to watch that and it is have they confirmed a date I think they did. I'm not sure. But oh, I love Sherlock. I love that show. And then watching that trailer was like, fuck. Because I didn't really like the whole like flashback episode. I didn't even finish it. And, oh, uh, the like, old-timey yeah, one? Yeah. I, I didn't even watch that. I, I, I wasn't into it. it. But uh, I love current-day Sherlock, and I was like, oh, yes. I yes. mean, season three, I didn't... I didn't. I wasn't too... I oh, I liked them. I've, I've liked every episode. Well, I mean... It wasn't because I liked the whole like dynamic where like they're drunk and they're trying to like solve like a, a mystery and stuff. Like, yeah, I thought that was funny. fun. They're, season three was definitely really fun. I feel like the ending of it though, spoilers for season three, but it came out like two years, two ago. years ago at this point. Um, the whole like Moriarty is back. That's the whole thing. It's like. I honestly, how is Moriarty back? I don't think he is. I, no, I don't think he is either. I think so he's using his image. You're on my save way, uh, wavelength here. Where like he knew that the only option to who was the villain in season three? Like he was. I forget his name, but I thought he was really cool. He was. And a cool I also villain. like how Sherlock just straight up kills him. Yeah, because <laughs> I feel like so baller. I, I feel like he just he probably knew just ahead of time like there's going to be no other option than to kill this man, and so he knew he was going to have to be like sent out of the country and the only he knew that the only way he would be let back into the country if people thought Moriarty was back oh you think Sherlock's doing it yeah no I don't who do you think it, uh, I like think it's somebody villain? else yeah mm. I think somebody else is using Sherlock's Im or his image Moriarty's or like this is a plan the guy who plays Moriarty though phenomenal so good or it's Moriarty 
but he's dead. And this is one of his plans that is carrying out mm, after his death. Mm, like he had a smart. safeguard that if, yeah. you know, he doesn't do certain things. Because there's no, there's no like. He shot himself directly in the face. There's, yeah, there's no, no like end of back. season two where it's like, how did Sherlock, how did Sherlock survive from falling off the roof? Did we ever find out how that happened? There's like. I know there's crazy there's fan one, theories. There's like a one like big theory that's shown in the first episode of season three. But then it's also like. No, there's there's a definite. I have to rewatch it. Yeah, I have not. Because my I've favorite is that. there's a little short where he jumps off and then the TARDIS flies in, picks him up, and then <laughs> places him on the ground. <laughs> this is really funny. That's dope. <laughs>